Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office. Thanks for joining me. It's morning prayer for Thursday, December 10th, and this is the second week in Advent. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 37, verse 1 to 17, and Matthew chapter 23, verse 13 to 26. Please join me in singing the first verse of Once He Came in Blessing. Once he came in blessing, all our ills redressing, came in likeness lowly, Son of God most holy. Bore the cross to save us, hope and freedom gave us. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Do not fret because of the wicked, and do not envy the workers of iniquity. Psalm 37, please recite it with me. Do not fret because of the wicked, and do not envy the workers of iniquity, for they shall soon be cut down and wither like the grass of the field. Trust in God and do good, and you will dwell in the land and be fed. Delight yourself in the Most High, and God shall give you the desires of your heart. Commit yourself to the Most High. Trust God, and God shall act. God shall bring forth your righteousness like the light, and your judgment like the noonday sun. Rest in the Most High and wait patiently. Fret not when the wicked prosper, who plot to bring down the needy and the poor. Cease your anger and forsake your rage, and do not fret, for it leads to evil. For the wicked shall perish, but those that wait on the Most High shall inherit the earth. For soon the wicked shall have gone. You cannot see their homes, because they are no more. But the meek shall inherit the earth, and enjoy abundance of peace. The wicked plot against the just and gnash on them with their teeth. The Most High shall laugh at the wicked, for God sees that their day is coming. The wicked have drawn their swords and have bent their bow to cast down the poor and the needy and to slay the upright. But their swords shall pierce their own hearts, and their bows shall be broken. And what little the righteous have is better than the riches of many wicked. For the arms of the wicked shall be broken, but the Most High upholds the righteous. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Do not fret because of the wicked, and do not envy the workers of iniquity. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew beginning at chapter 23, verse 13. But woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For you look lock people out of the kingdom of heaven. You do not go in yourselves, and when others are going in, you stop them. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For you cross the sea and land to make a single convert, and you make the new convert twice as much a child of hell as yourselves. Woe to you blind guides who say whoever swears by the sanctuary is bound by nothing, but whoever swears by the gold of the sanctuary is bound by the oath. You blind fools, for which is greater, the gold or the sanctuary that has made the gold sacred? And you say whoever swears by the altar is bound by nothing, but whoever swears by the gift that is on the altar is bound by the oath. How blind you are, for which is greater, the gift or the altar that makes the gift sacred? And so whoever swears by the altar swears by it and by everything on it. And whoever swears by the sanctuary swears by it and by the one who dwells in it. And whoever swears by heaven swears by the throne of God and by the one who is seated upon it. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you tithe mint, dill, and cumin, and have neglected the weightier, mighty, the weightier matters of the law, 
that is, justice and mercy and faith. It is these you ought to have practiced without neglecting the others. You blind guides, you strain out a gnat, but swallow a camel. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you clean the outside of the cup and of the plate, but inside they are full of greed and self-indulgence. You blind Pharisee, first clean the inside of the cup, so that the outside also may become clean. Here ends the lesson. And now let us pray for the church and the world. Please respond, hear us, tender God. For the mission of the church, that it may extend the peace and the love of Christ to all people, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For Don and Tom and Richard and Joe and Bill and for all of our church leaders, for all clergy and ministers, that they may be ever faithful servants of your word and sacraments, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For unity in the church, that our scandalous divisions may be healed, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For the poor and the hungry and the thirsty, for the destitute and the unemployed, that we may share with them the riches of creation and free the world of poverty and famine, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For Barack and Joe and Paul, and for all the leaders of this nation, city, and state, and for the leaders of the nations of the world, that they may bring justice and peace in all the earth, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For the intentions of those who've asked our prayers, and for all of your intentions, we pray. Hear us, tender God. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Lead us in your paths, O God, and grant that we may ever find our delight in you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. This is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen.